Welcome to Harry's Hook. I am a journalist and big fan of boxing. I've written published articles on it. I also train and spar. Today we're going to be looking at Gennady Golovkin, Triple G, Mr. Kazakh Thunder himself. So, of course, we're going to be looking at Golovkin versus Sharameta, and we're going to be seeing, is there anything that we could really learn from Triple G from that fight? Okay, who's Camille Sharameta, some Polish fighter who is his mandatory? You know, we, we have to acknowledge that this guy, Sharameta, was hopelessly outmatched. You know, we get that. Okay, but is there anything from the fight itself, from Golovkin's performance, that we can take some value and that we can maybe learn something from? First, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. I think the first thing is that we have to note Triple G's age. He's 38 going on 39, and he's a middleweight. It's easier to age as a heavyweight, you know, lower punch outputs during the rounds. Middleweights are still throwing a, a decent amount of punches. It's really remarkable that he is fighting at the elite level that he is. Every time that he comes out to the ring could be the night that Father Time takes its toll on him. The first thing that I really liked about Triple G's performance was, of course, his jab. Right, he's got one of the best jabs in boxing, and this jab was just mushing Sharameta's face into pierogi. I mean, for the love of God, he dropped Sharameta with a double jab. A big thing for me with this performance was that Triple G looked relaxed. You know, you could tell within seconds. Just look at his upper body movement. See how much looser he looks in the ring. A and compare this with Triple G versus Vanis Martirosian, another stay busy fight against someone who was hopelessly outmatched. But Triple G in that fight, he looked way more tense and way less loose. When Triple G's more relaxed, I think that helps his creativity and his punch variety. I mean, look at the first knockdown that Triple G had. Sharameta threw a left hook, Triple G ducked under it, avoided Sharameta's follow-ups, and from that crouched position, threw a left hook from the southpaw stance as he was shifting back to orthodox. It reminds me of his southpaw left hook knockout of Steve Rolls except I thought this one was more impressive because he was in the middle of transitioning from defense to offense. A really beautiful thing. And there were also uppercuts galore. Left uppercuts, right uppercuts, uppercuts setting up hooks. It can be a risky punch, especially from the outside. To me, this shows that Triple G was relaxed and not really fearing Sharameta's return fire, and for good reason. Another thing about this performance was the body work, Triple G's body work. He pounded Sharameta to the body, something he really didn't do much of against the likes of Daniel Jacobs or Canelo Alvarez or even Sergei Derevyanchenko. And perhaps it's because those guys are higher caliber fighters with more punching power. Maybe he didn't want to risk getting countered upstairs. That's possible. But the thing is that Triple G is just so much more deadly when he is throwing to the body. He's hurt so many people to the body. I mean, we remember when he broke Matthew Macklin's ribs. We remember when he knocked Martin Murray down with body shots. He put David Lemieux on one knee. He really maximizes his offensive capability when he also targets the body. So was there any value in this fight for Triple G? I think there is. For one thing, he gets back in the ring after a long layoff. He gets more work in with Jonathan Banks, still a relatively new coach for Golovkin. Remember, this was only their third fight together. Besides that, I think that this is a good fight for Golovkin's confidence, okay? He beat the brakes off of this guy. It was his mandatory. But you see the way Golovkin carries himself inside and outside the ring. He walks and talks with the pride of a warrior, the pride of a champion. After the rough fight that he had against Derevyanchenko, that was a bruising brawl. For him to have an easier fight where he stomps out an undefeated boxer, I think that's good for his confidence moving forward. So what's next for Golovkin? Rumors circulating that he's in talks to potentially fight against Jaime Munguia, a young offensive dervish of a fighter. I think that's actually a pretty good fight for Golovkin. Maybe I'll make a video previewing a potential uh, golovkin Munguia fight. There are talks of him fighting against Oscar De La Hoya. If we want to watch an execution live on television, maybe a Charlo, maybe Canelo again. We'll see, but there are options on the table for Triple G. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, was there anything to learn from this fight? Was this video a waste? Am I just talking out of my ass? Sharameta, who the hell is he? Let me know if you think differently. I'll see you in the next one.